So if you guys remember a few months ago, maybe two or so months ago, I decided to paint our countertops in our camper. I would actually wanted to do it in our house, but I was just way too nervous. So I thought I would try to do it in the camper first, see how it came out, and then if it came out good, maybe do our countertops. So if you guys wanna see how that video came out, definitely go check it out. It was a faux marble and it came out so good. I decided not to do it in our house just because I'm really nervous still to do it in the house. It was actually really easy to do, but I was just a little nervous. I've been so busy with the camper, so I haven't even had the time to think about doing any work to the house. So what I'm gonna do today is take that old countertop and put it to the test. A lot of you guys had questions about it and wondered if it would actually hold up to heat, cutting, spills, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna see if it works. And I'm actually really curious myself if it works. So we're taking a little break from the camper this week. Well, kind of, because this is a camper countertop. Um, and we're gonna see how this turns out. So let's go try it. So here we have the countertop. We took it out of the camper because we're actually putting in a butcher block countertop, very similar to this, but we are making it. So hopefully that video will be up sometime. I also have a Disney candle burning. They're like these Disney candles that's supposed to smell like different parks in Disney World. And inside of them, there's Disney pins. So I'm trying to burn this one as fast as possible to see what pin I got. Um, anyway, so the counters actually held up really well. Um, this has been kind of just thrown around a lot. So I'm surprised that there's not a ton of like scratches all over it. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like quickly. Here's what it looks like. Um, as you guys can see, there's just like lots of dirt and stuff on it. There's like a couple scratches right here, but even the scratches, they don't feel like they're like indented in. It just looks like a little surface scratch. Um, and then this is obviously where the sink would go. Um, so we took the sink out and then there is more that would go like on the sides, but it got ripped out. Um, but yeah, here's the little overview. All right, so first I'm just gonna take like a basic cleaner and I'm gonna use a scrubby part. That way we can see if we can actually scrub the counter without any paint chipping off. So I'm gonna like be really abrasive with this. Um, and I feel like maybe a little bit of the veining is rubbing off. If you guys can see up close. But again, like I don't think that anyone's gonna be like scrubbing that much at the counter. So you can see here, the veining rubbed off when I scrubbed it like super hard. But again, it's not normal wear that you would be doing to a counter. Like I think you'd normally be going like this. I was putting all of my strength into it on that spot. So I guess so far that's bad, but not horrible again. So the first test we're doing is kind of just letting everything marinate in the countertop. So over here I have, I just put down jelly, I put honey, I rubbed a cherry that I cut all over the counter, and then I also put food coloring um, just to see. I'm pretty sure the food coloring would stay in the countertop. I would be so shocked if it didn't, but I'm gonna let this stuff sit and just kind of like really get into the countertop and see what happens. Um, I also have a cup with ice and cold water and I'm gonna let the condensation build up and see what happens. I also put an ice cube down. I'm literally just throwing everything on top of this counter right now just to see um, exactly like what would happen worst case scenario. Obviously this isn't like gonna happen on the daily. You're not gonna just leave food all over your countertop, but this is again worst case scenario just to see what would happen. Next, after this, we're gonna try a hot pot um, and we're gonna try cutting on it. So maybe we'll go try that now. <gasps> I literally just burned my hair. I don't know where. Oh my God. I was talking and I had this candle right here and I heard something like sizzling. I think maybe it must have like just been like an edge of my hair somewhere. Oh, I can smell it right here, but nothing is missing. 
Oh my gosh, it smells really bad. That was bad, guys. I gotta watch where I put my candles from now on. Wow, okay. Um, but anyway, we're gonna try now to do some hot things on, oh, it smells like straight up burnt hair. Like it smells so bad. You would think I would like see my hair somewhere over here if it fell out. I don't know, that's so weird. I'm catching very weird things. Probably next week you guys will see something else really funny that happened to me um, in a video because I randomly caught it on camera too. But anyway, let's boil some water and try to put that on the countertop and see what happens. It smells so strong, like burnt hair. It It's really bad. Um, but right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna fill this pot with water and then we're gonna boil it and then we're gonna put it on the counter and see what happens. Leave a comment down below um, saying what you guys think is gonna happen. If you guys think that it's gonna melt the paint, if you think it's going to leave a burn mark or if you think it's gonna be okay, leave your comments because I'm curious what you guys think. I don't have a very high hopes, but we'll see. We are done boiling. I hope this doesn't ruin my pot if it does leave a mark. All right, so let's put it in. Here's like a little empty spot. We're gonna put it right here. I'm very nervous. All right, we're gonna let it sit for a minute and see how it goes. You guys can also see everything else over here still doing its thing, working in. All right, let's pick it up right now and see what happened. Wow, nothing happened so far. When I picked it up, it felt like it almost like stuck a little, but it could just be the cleaner. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit and I guess we'll see. All right, so what we're gonna try next is cutting. Um, again, I don't know if how cutting is gonna be on this. This has been thrown in our dump trailer. It's been thrown in the back of Connor's um, truck that has um, like a coating on it and it's very like sandy almost. And anytime I like sit in there, if I have like something cotton on like leggings, it will literally just rip straight through my leggings. So this has been on it and it's been good. So let's try to cut and see what happens with that. So I'll cut this way, that way we can cut straight there. I'm gonna give it like an extra. Okay, so cutting it really hard like I just did, did leave a mark, but now let's cut it how I normally would and we'll see how that goes. Okay, that didn't leave a mark. So let me show you guys a close up of what it looks like. I'm not sure what happened, but I had a clip where I was testing the knife on um, the countertop and I was doing it with like a light hand, a medium hand, and a very, very hard hand of cutting. And this is what it looks like when I was putting like all my body weight and pulling the knife back. And it was actually pretty hard to get a scratch on the countertop unless you're going back and forth um, continuously with a knife and putting a lot of pressure. We passed the scrub test, we passed the knife test. Both cases, if you do it very extremely, it does rub off. But now let's try the pot. It's still pretty hot, but let's just pick it up and see if it left a mark. There's literally no mark at all. That is crazy. It's still really hot. The bottom of the pot it feels sticky, but I think it's because the juice from the cherry ran down. So let me just put this away. So it's past the pot test. I really thought that heat for sure would just melt this, but that's amazing that it doesn't. So now um, let's pick up the cup and see, ooh, water's dripping on my dress. Um, but I just picked up the cup and there's also now no ring. It's completely fine. So that's really cool. Now for these last gooey messes that we have here, we're gonna see if this stuff stains or not. So I'm gonna do a little close up of this. You guys can see exactly what it looks like. Right, let's start with the cherry. 
So it left this long stream of cherry juice. So let's see if that comes out or if it stains. Okay, the cherry juice completely came out. I am so intrigued to see if this stains or not. So let's see. Let's actually do this one last because it's gonna rub off everywhere. So let's do the grape jelly. Oh, we might have a stain. Okay, so there's a little mark. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's light pink. Let's try to put some cleaner on it and see if that does anything. Okay, the cleaner took it off, so that passed that test. This, I don't think it's gonna leave a color, but I just kind of did it just to see um, how stickiness rubs off of this countertop. So I'm gonna use the rough side of this sponge and just like rub it in and see what happens. Okay, that passed, that passed. These are all passing. I really expected something to fail. All right, but this is the big test. If this rubs off, I will be so, so impressed. Okay, let me clean off the sponge first. Okay, so let's see, definitely not coming off. Let's put some cleaner on it. And I'll scrub it and see what happens. Oh, it's coming off. Wow. That is so impressive. I really for sure thought that this was gonna stain. And this has been sitting here for well over a half hour. That is amazing. Well, I just did so many different tests on this countertop and I am so impressed. I cannot believe that basically every single test that I did passed the test. I was not expecting it, especially the food coloring. Did you guys think that was actually going to come off? Because I did not. I thought for sure it was going to stain. Um, but it actually seems like this countertop is really good and holds up amazingly. So if you guys were on the fence about trying this counter, definitely I feel like this maybe could be like a confirmation to try it if you want to. Um, again, if you guys wanna know how I did this, go check out the other video. I'll have it linked down below as well as the product. But I am just super, super impressed. If there's any other um, like things that I miss that you guys want to see me test out, let me know and I can always just like put it on my Instagram or something like that for you guys to see. Um, but hopefully this video was helpful for those of you who are looking into painting your countertops. I do think it's a great idea for a temporary change. If you guys are new and don't know, I've painted so many different things in my house. We painted the backsplash in our kitchen. We've painted our tub. Um, we even painted our um, microwave and our dishwasher over there. So if you guys want to see all those videos, I will leave those all down below. But I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.